Don't be a. Uh, don't be trying to blame me, Carl. It's not my fault. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, it looks very different to normal today. Very different to normal. And the reason being is I have no Joe. He's abandoned us. Adrian asked in the only things is it the Liam and No Joe show or is it the Liam and No Show Joe? Oh. <laughs> Uh, there is no Joe today. He's at home pa parenting. In fact, he genuinely messaged me about 10 minutes ago uh, and he said words to the effect of, because I don't know how much of it I can read. Sad I couldn't be there today. Got a load of painting done, but I love our show. Aw, poor old Joe. Poor old Joe. But he is, in fact, at home being a parent whilst also painting. So he's being productive at least. Uh, so we are doing two bonus shows from home today because there's no game tonight as well because nobody's around. The only person who was going to be available this evening was Mr. The Kyle. Um, people are like, well, Kyle could play. Well, actually, you know, it's a glad jo a good job we didn't plan that in because Mr. The Kyle's also off sick today as well. So it would have just been me on my own again. So you've just got to put with me to chat today. It means you get three days of unadulterated Liam though. All right, so think yourself lucky. Now, fun fact. Today, what I was going to do to start with was build some stuff. I don't, I'm not, I don't really want to paint today. I've not slept well the last few days. I, don't, I think it's like a change in atmosphere, isn't there, at the moment? It's a bit pressury. I don't know how to explain it best. So I'm not sleeping brilliantly. I'm not sleeping terribly, but not sleeping brilliantly. So I was like, I don't really want to paint. I want to build something today. I was going to build these which is hilarious, quite frankly. I have two boxes of evoc evocators to build, and I have the special character evocator to build. And the reason why it's hilarious is because Warcom have just announced an article where they have legends evocators and the character evocator to that person, right? They've legends them all, which... <sighs> I'm still going to build them because they're cool, and I want to use them even though they're in legends. And if you look at the new article, perhaps we'll discuss this tonight, but if you look at the new article, They've legends a lot of stuff from the Stormcast range. Something that they need to do with Space Marines ages ago. Again, I actually think this is a positive. This is where um, this is where GW are getting things very right with Sigma and very wrong with 40k, in my opinion. They've deleted a lot of the Sigma range. And we were discussing this with Josh last week. Uh, I think we were discussing it off camera. We're like, a lot of them, a lot of them need to be, they need to get rid of, they need to thin, like really thin out the Stormcast range. And they've actually done that. But we'll talk about that tonight. I still am going to build them because I like the models, so I don't care. Like I'm, I'm not, I don't, I'm not bothered about it. I'm still going to build them. I'm still going to um, build them because I like the models and I think they're cool. Um, they're the only ones out of the whole range of legend stuff that I'm a bit sad about because I think they still look cool, right? Anywho, right. What we can also assume, by the way, by that legends announcement is that there's a ton of stuff that's going to be replaced. Okay, so uh, sad to see the sacrosanct range go. Love the Dracoline models. The Dracoline models are I mean, some of my favourites. And that's why I'm a little bit sad. But they're going to Legends. They're going to have rules. So we can use them, right? Uh, Legends and stuff that's in that's less than 10 years old. But, John, they're keeping it fresh. Anyway, I'm going to build something else today. Hence the title. Uh, big shout out, Brandon, for five gifted off the bat. Every Liam and Nojo or Liam and Joe show. What a legend. Thank you so much. You're a hero. I took the total down. I didn't put the target up today. Because we don't normally Liam and Joe show, do we? So I didn't put it up today. Uh, so what we've got instead, literally turned up, not long before the stream... And then the dragons came. So I'm quite happy. This is cool. I get to build this guy instead. We're going to start building Law Ionis Cryptborn, Warden of Lost Souls. A fucking cool name. I own a cool model, right? So we're going to get on with building him today. Uh, you are obviously welcome. As if you have, if you haven't experienced a great hall hobby hangout before, um, I'm going to get building. I'm going to talk to you people. I won't do anywhere near as much building as I should do because I'm going to be talking to you people. Uh, so if you really want to grab attention, you can obviously super chat and Amy will interrupt me. Uh, and obviously you can do the normal things. You can become member. You can gift memberships, all that good stuff. Also, you can hit the magical YouTube buttons for us. Oh, that's supposed to get rid of the... Hang on. Go. There we go. Good. Got rid of it. You wonderful people. We're going to get building this. What about dragons? Exactly. All dragons. All dragons all the time. I own a script born. So we're going to put on my hobby light. It's going to get really bright. Boop. There we go. I'm going to go like this. Boop. You have to make those noises, otherwise the buttons don't work. She, you can't hear her because she hasn't moved the microphone, so I haven't unmuted her yet. But Luz is here, and she's in fact knitting. She didn't get that kind of update on Monday. So we have Ionis Cryptborn, Warden of Lost Souls. Big shout out Element, who sent that through today. 
after I ordered it on, I think Monday, maybe Tuesday, I can't remember. But, oh, it's still sealed. Scalpel of Power. How are you all doing anyway, chat? How is your Thursday? One and a half days, and you are um, at your weekend, and you'll get to chill out. How many people work weekends? I don't miss working weekends. There was the bonus if you... I mean, again, they can't hear you because you haven't moved your mic. You put it three times. Oh, hey, Luz. <laughs> I miss working weekends. Why? Um, Because... Let me lower my chair. There we go. Because working the weekend is a bit of shit. And when you're all in a bit of a Mardi together, you all help each other get out the Mardi because you're working in the weekend. So the, only reason, the only reason why I ever liked working weekends was twofold. Firstly, no, no real traffic to contend with comparatively with weekday working. And secondly, when I was off, that normally meant I was off on weekdays, which meant that I could go into town and do my shopping and stuff that there was no one else about. Uh, that was literally the only reasons why I liked weekends. Well, this guy looks cool as shit, doesn't he, chat? I work Saturday, says Brandon. That sounds like it sucks. Just done myself some chicken and couscous for lunch. I love a bit of couscous. Is that the... Couscous? It's kind of like rice. It's sort of, it's like grainy, like mush type stuff. Yeah, I think I like it. I mean, this guy is a fucking baller, isn't he? He's a big dragon, this man. I work every other weekend. Afternoon, Liam and Lucy. Happy Thursday. Hope you're both well. I'm actually... Well, I have a light headache, which I haven't been able to shift for a couple of days. And uh, it's not called the children. Um, and I've not been sleeping 100%, which is probably where the light headaches come from. But other than that, I'm in pretty good spirits on the whole, I think. How about you, babe? You right? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, there you go. Done. She's good. Right, we're going to start building a bit of Ionis. Uh, couscous is lovely. Mm. It is. I've had bad couscous. I'm sure, not a euphemism, I'm sure Stick Monkey's couscous is in fact lovely. I can eat hummus like yogurt. I know you can, and then you, then you fucking melt my eyebrows when you look at me. <laughs> Best husband repellent I've ever had. Ugh, it's disgusting. Is a pot of hummus. Hey, babe. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, my face. <laughs> yes, I'm going to get left alone tonight. All the hummus. I mean, there's no guarantee of that, to be fair, <laughs> even with the hummus. And my lechy ways. Mashed potatoes, but rice. I guess that's what you could describe it as. See some excellent conversions for that kit for the old world. Have you? I mean, it's a great kit. I only use it for Stormcast. Um, I saw someone who wanted to convert it as a, uh, what's it what's it called? A uh, chaplain on bike for Space Marines, which is, I mean, I think this might be a little too big. We'll see. But this was definitely a well-received model when it came out. And with my love of dragons, uh, it was 100% one of those kits that I wanted to get hold of for Stormcast. Stormcast. And since the other things I was going to build up for my Stormcast, because I've got a bunch of stuff already on the table built. Um, some of it I've started to paint. Uh, and I want to add a few more bits and then just get painting it all. Uh, and I wanted to add the Dracolines, the ev uh, evoc Evocators? Evocators? Ev evocators. I don't know how you say that. Someone maybe can spell it out for me phonetically. I want to add those and then this guy and a couple more of the um, Storm Drake Guard. And then they then they Legends of the Evocators today and that makes me sad. Evocators. Evocators. I don't know how you say that. Please. Mm. How do you read the big word that starts with an E? Evocators. Oh, even different to the two that I said. Great. <laughs> Cleared up fuck all. There you go. Clear as mud chat. <laughs> but I'm, I'm probably wrong. I don't... The Warhammer lexicon is oh. way over my head. This metal splinter is not going to help my hobby today. Just some light engineering work yesterday and I have got a metal splinter in the tip of my thumb in there. If you guys can see the little... You can't, can you? The little black dot in there. Tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. Tiny little dot. Tiny little bit of metal stuck under my thumb and constantly hurts but it's my own fault i didn't wear gloves 
Still awake at 8, 5.30 a.m. Uh, clipping and firing an inner circle companion going to sleep while this plays. I, do I, should I be concerned about the amount of people that are like, oh, it's great to get to sleep to? Um, no, I, I take that as a compliment. I don't know if it's a compliment. Like Your, your content's so dull, I use it to go to sleep. No, it's definitely a compliment. If you think about children that like to be read to sleep, they like to be read to sleep by a safe voice. So, like, the whole um, familiar sounds in your house, if you hear an unfamiliar sound, it's really hard to settle. So, I would take it as a compliment. Evocators. That's how I pronounce it. You've got a scalpel there. This scalpel's blunt. No, this is my scraping scalpel. It doesn't really do any damage to me at all. If I use my scalpel in the garage, I could get it out, but I'd probably also take the tip of my thumb off as well. I have two types of scalpel, completely blunt or monumentally sharp, could be, could be used by a surgeon. Nothing really in between. I was going to unban the guy who whinged about our music yesterday. Why? Because I always, the first time I ban, depending on what they're banned for, the first time I ban, I always unban and be like, you've got a second chance. And then if they do it again, then they get turbo banned. I love Finney's music. So good. So good. What are you making anyway, babe? Sock. Singular. Um, Just the one, actually. Well, the pattern says I need to have... Two, probably. Yeah. Two. <laughs> You're a knob. The pattern says I need to have um stitches on both needles at the same time so it sounds like i'm making half a sock and the other needle would have the other half of a sock on so i'm just gonna cut that workload in half because i think i confused myself it's an american pattern as well so some of the abbreviations i need to keep referring back to yeah so it's very hard to get into the swing of it I don't need to make socks. I get them from Amazon. I do so much clothes shopping on Amazon now. That might be part of the problem. Mm. I'm having a really good day today. Okay. Don't really want to talk about problems <laughs> today. Why are you having a good day today? Because it's my day off. It's all your day off. It's half term for you. I know. I miss proper time off a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't normally do much with it, but just the, the fact that you don't have to work at all was quite was quite nice. Excuse you? Who doesn't have to work at all? When I when I used to have time, days off. Right, okay. Like proper days off. I can't, I don't feel like I can have it now because there's that overwhelming feel, feeling of guilt as well. Time off makes you feel guilty? Yes. In what? 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 Well, because I get to do this for a job. Streaming. It's a job. Yeah. 40k is a job. Yeah. So when I'm like, oh, what day off? I have a break. I feel like most people are like, hang on a minute. I, I do 40k in my day off, you fucking cheeky bastard. Get back on the camera. Which I feel like is often quite justified. Get a more reliable team, you get proper days off. The mm -hmm. team's pretty good. Like days like today, where literally no one's available, Sean, are very rare. Thankfully, like very rare. Just perfect storm today. Happens though, right? It's a thing. There will be shops in the world out there that have to some days not open because of staff problems. The bonus I have is if I don't have staff. Like if Joe's off. 
because his child mind, not child mind, didn't his child care for his little one? He's looking after his his daughter. Uh, Kyle's off because he's unwell. Paddy's got his course. Um, Eddie, no one wants to watch anyway. Brom is getting ready for a flight tomorrow. Like it's very rare, you know. But we still have a show. We still have a show. We still have a thing we can put out for you people to try and entertain you. It's not like I have to shut the doors and make no money. We've already got the five gifted from Brandon because he's a hero. So. Hope Joe's getting dock wages. No, no, he's allowed time off. He's allowed time off. I'm a, I'm a benevolent god. Hand shot first. <laughs> Phrasing. It's half term for you. Made her sound like a school kid. Or well, maybe she is. You can be a school kid at 30 years old. Can't you? Go back to university at 30 years old. You'd still be a school kid strictly then. I couldn't think of anything worse though, could you? What, going back to school? Going back to, to a school based setting at this age. Um... To learn. I think if I went back to the school I had in the 90s, then no, I, I still don't think I'd do very well. <laughs> There's a pause there like, what am I saying? Of course I'd hate well, it. I remember having a couple of really lovely teachers and I just don't think that kind of teaching style will work today because kids are very different. Yeah, but you wouldn't be a kid. That's what I'm saying. You'd be back. Go back as a university graduate, a uh, university student. Oh, not actually, go back to school. I was talking about going back into education, but not going back to school like you were oh, before. No, I couldn't do university. Either. Yeah, it's part of this is because, and Sean's just said it himself. Stick Monkey is doing university stuff at the moment, and he's 39. I'm like, I, I couldn't think of anything worse if than I, actually trying to learn now. If I could do it at home, or maybe rent an office-type space somewhere else and do it quietly. I'd probably do okay. Going into a classroom, no. Doing it at home, no. I'd, I'd need like a hard separation between studying and home because okay. I'd immediately prioritise the home over advancing myself. So I'd need to rent somewhere, leave all the workbooks there so that when I'm in that room, I'm not mum, I'm not wife, I am advancing myself. Yeah. Well, Sean's just said um, he's doing it from home. And I'm like, yeah, I couldn't do that either because I'd, like, I'd get too distracted because I wouldn't want to do the learning. But like, ah, fuck learning. Sounds boring. Big Bad Peter Gaming, thank you for the gifted membership, you fucking hero. What a legend. And then Jill swoops in loose with five gifted memberships. Think of it this way, Jill. It's like you've just drawn five random raffle tickets for people. Do you reckon that'll work? That, I think that's exactly what I'd do, Sean. I would I would go to the studio when you're at home and get a couple of hours. Yeah, I think, if I, so I think if I had the studio to go yeah. and learn it. But even then, I, I, I would look around in the studio and be like, I could be productive doing other stuff right now. So the studio means nothing to me. I would have no idea if it's messy or if it's intentional. I wouldn't, it, it wouldn't, it would just be a quiet, calm space for me to sit at a desk and work. There's no distractions in that room for me. I can walk past it all. It means nothing to me. It means nothing but, to me. Say that a few more times, babe. But if I was to walk in here, the first thing I'd see is the laundry or the dog or the, I just, I couldn't. Oh my God, Sean. Thank you for five more of the finest raffle tickets. Five more gifted from Sean. You're a legend. Nostradami. Nostrodromer. How, what the, hang on, fucking hell. Nostrodromedary. Nostrodromedary. Thank you so much for five. Sean and Nostrodromedary. <laughs> Thank you so much for five gifted each. Look at you beautiful people. 21 <laughs> new members. What is that thing you do? <laughs> <laughs> That's how posh people argue. Facts. That's how posh people argue. <laughs> like that. You sound like an old dog. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, posh people. Facts. Facts. 
Thank you so much, everybody, for the five gifted. Five gifted is a big deal. I'm trying to, I'm trying to drill this into the team. Five gifted is a big deal. Big deal. Five gifted is 25 of the finest English beans. Magic beans. Well, you know, exactly. about to say, you know what beans gets you? Bean stalks. So thank you so much, you wonderful people, all for the five gifted. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Stick Monkey. Thank you, Nostrad. Uh, you're amazing too. Big Bad Peter Gaming, you're still a legend for the one gifted, by the way. What a hero. Love you very much. What an absolute hero. What a hashtag baller. You're all ballers. You're all amazing. 21 off the bat. 21 off the bat. I'm going to get some sleep to shift this headache, says Kyle. Yeah, you can rest up, man. I can't sleep the rest of my to get rid of my headache because he'll just turn up to work next Tuesday. Lol. Shimmerick's good for headaches. Can't believe you said the studio means nothing to you. You know what I mean. I love having the studio, and I also kind of hate it at the same time. Scooter! Guess who just gifted five memberships, please? Might that be sweet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so suggestible, this makes me want to build models instead. I'll pretend to do what I'm paid to do. No, go for it. Go for it. Build models instead. Can't offer support any more than my channel membership, but public holiday money lets me show you all some love. You're a, leg you're a legend. Thanks very much. Don't feel compelled to, though, man. I appreciate you. Just being a member is amazing. <laughs> If I understand it correctly from listening to you outright say it, Liam is a bit of a control freak. That's your day off problems, really. I understand. I, uh, I am a bit of a control freak. There's no arguments there at all. And I'm getting better with the guys in general. Uh, the, st the stream launches and I come home and often I don't. Like the other night I, was, I had it on only because I sat here building. Um... Or paint, no, I sat here painting actually, or building, whichever one it was. I can't remember what it was I was doing. I'm getting better at letting go uh, because when it's like when it's Brom, Joe, Kyle, um, or actually to be fair, any of them. To be honest with you, any of them nowadays, I'm, I, I have a lot more trust than I used to have. I really, really have a lot more trust than I used to have, which is a positive thing for me actually because I'm terrible at letting go of control. Uh, and I spoke about this a little bit, I think, with um, with James on the podcast. Um, I just don't like relying on other people. I don't, you know, sometimes I'm like, it's not fair to rely on other people as well. But I'm very, I'm very bad at letting go of control, Ben. So it's on me. Thanks for the, thanks for the nine as well. Nine New Zealand. Don't know what that means in real world money, but thank you so much, man. You're a legend. It's very, it's very much like no time off is very much a me problem. There's a couple of reasons. Like I said, there's the, there's the overriding guilt of we're people's entertainment. And so I need to do a show. So typically, if I have time off, it's basically because it's a major holiday like Christmas or because I'm unwell. Um, as the team grow, as the channel continues to grow, as the team grows, if the monetization stays there, if we keep if we keep doing what we're doing, if we keep entertaining people and people keep finding value in that and therefore financially supporting us, we will get to a point at some point in the future where we'll be able to do multiple shows that I won't have to be involved in. Not because I don't want to be involved. And here's the thing. I don't want to be a person who ever really steps back from camera because I actually kind of really enjoy being part of the stream and, and being on camera and, and doing that live performing thing. I genuinely really enjoy that. But it, it, to be able to take a week off every now and again would be great. Um, but we need to continue to, to grow the, uh, the channel because um, then I can take on more people in terms of staff and then I can... Uh, teach more people to do more things and we can have more segments that can take place in the studio and all that kind of stuff right um, and I could take a week off just so I could have a bit of a rest but right now I'm, I'm quite happy cracking on oh my god 40k medic thank you so much for 10 gifted memberships please 10 I'm trying to count to 10 leave 10 gifted. me alone so, so keep saying 10 and 5 isn't helping them I've already fucked up one row because you were asking me about your studio <laughs> what did you agree to be on the show then i don't know all right thank you so much for 10 gifted you are amazing 
I guess he Carl. I brought the camera to play a game there, so I'm saying, hang on. Varg, 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 what's happening with Varg? She doesn't like saying Varg. I talked about that just a second, but I promise. Uh, Kyle will probably be in front of the camera at some point in the near future. Um, I am taking it easy with how we introduce people to the audience now. We've had some bad experiences. There's there's two problems, right? One, uh, I need to play Kyle at 40k soon. We might be playing this weekend, and we've also got a team day next weekend where he'll be playing, and we'll see what he's like playing the game. Uh, he knows all this anyway. We've, I've had this conversation with him. And secondly, uh, the problem he also has is he's very good as a, as a producer. Um... He's probably the best producer we have outside of me just doing it myself. So he needs to do the washing up model then? What, do it badly? Do it badly enough time so you don't get asked to do it anymore. And then you get, what's it called when- Sacked. A company readjusts their staffing, redeployed. So he gets redeployed to in front of the camera. So he needs to do the washing up method. But I think he's been doing it too well for too long now, Lou, so I don't think that would work. So then he needs to get slightly shitter. Each he can't just be turbo shit next week, because then you'll be on to him. But he needs to get a little bit shitter each time until it stresses you out enough that you finally go, Kyle, I can't let you do it. Yeah, go home. To be honest with you, I don't think he could do that either. I don't think he'd be able to let himself go like that. That's the Joe model. No, that's not the J model, Sean. The J model will just be shit from the start. Right, Vag, Bull, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm probably going to just shut that down. It was a little pipe dream to do a second channel, monetize a second channel, potentially appeal to a second audience, um, just be sat here playing games, make even more money. And then the, the idea in the back of my mind was if Vag takes off and makes good money as well, I actually would just, because it was the same business, because I own obviously the business, then the extra money Vag makes for me just sat here playing video games gets pumped into the 40k channel. Truth be told, what happens is, or what's happened is, is first of all, it has double monetized the same audience, which I don't like. So rather than us actually create our own video gaming audience on a video gaming channel, uh, we, that didn't happen. What happened was all the names basically that showed up in the video game channel were the same people that were showing up on the 40k channel. And I don't like that. I feel like that's bad. I feel like when I'm going, hey, pay to be in Discord uh, for the 40k channel, and they are, and then pay to be in Discord for the gaming channel, I, I already think that's negative. I don't like the way that looks or feels or sounds. The second thing is, the game that I wanted to play that I was enjoying, they, they sort of stopped it, and then they brought out New Warzone. So DMZ was what we were playing, and then they brought out New Warzone. And, um, and I gave that a go, and that game's in a mess right now. And there's no other games I want to play at all. I don't want to be in a position where I feel like I have to find a game to play in a thing that was supposed to be kind of my tight, my chill out, my chill out time off time. And yes, I know it's my own fault for taking chill out time off time and trying to turn it into a business. Um, but I don't want to feel like I have to play a game to entertain people when I don't want to play a, a certain type of game. So I, I can't tell you how many people ask me about Helldivers. I've got no interest in Helldivers at all. I've never wanted to play Helldivers. I'm not interested in it. People go, you should play Helldivers. You should play Helldivers. I don't want to. So... Uh, I stopped it for a bit and I took a bit of a break. Call of Duty was doing my head in. Uh, like, I find myself getting worked up at playing the game, which is not like me. So I was like, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. And actually, since taking a break from playing video games, um, I've not played video games for over three weeks now. And I feel better for it. Because the video games I like to play are normally quite high stress. Uh, so I actually feel better for taking a break, to be honest with you. So I don't feel like I missed them at the moment. So I don't really have any interest to play video games at all right now. I, like I said, I haven't played video games for ages. What I have found since not playing video games is I've been more productive with my hobby. I've done painting and stuff like that in my in my time where I'm not where I would sometimes be playing video games. I've been more productive in in making business like improvements and doing admin and like so many things have got better because I'm not playing video games. So currently my gut instinct is to lean into not playing video games if i'm honest what about mario i, I don't like mario what i don't like pve i only like pvp What's PvE? player versus environment mario's player versus environment so you don't play against other players you play against the computer and then pvp is player versus player but you play against other players so I typically don't like any game that doesn't have any PvP element in it at all. 
So DMZ was great because it was PV. It was PVE with a high risk element of PVP, which I quite enjoyed. Um, Battlefield was all PVP. Those types of games, all PVP. Mario, you don't play against other players. Do you ever worry that high stress computer games? desensitize your brain to stressful situations so much that when you're faced with an actual stressful situation you don't address it with the right kind of uh, urgency or compassion or logical thinking no well no I don't think so I know what you mean though it was a big argument for the longest time about first-person shooters, um, games like um, uh, Grand Theft Auto. That's the words I'm looking for. Games like Grand Theft Auto is a big, a big issue for the longest time that people um, would think it's okay to beat up a prostitute. Yeah. Hey, IDE, give it to the nice guy that is not monetized yet. Better than killing it. Who's the nice guy? Oh, Cooney. He's monetized now. As of as of like the other night, that's a good idea though. But the the I don't I don't know I think the stress of handing it over would probably be too much for me because of the way it's all linked into monetization etc. I also don't know how YouTube would like that. Like, hey, you know how you've got this thing in place to make sure that people have to work really hard to monetize their channels. Well, what I do is I just I just take a channel, I monetize it, I hand over. That's a service we could sell. I was gonna say that sounds like a consultancy type. I, I'm sure it's against the terms of service. <clears throat> this model is sexy, by the way. Hey, go for it, Perry. How's it going? Studies have shown the opposite is true, Luce. Apparently, video games help with PTSD. Oh. Yeah. Who knew? That's interesting. Anyway, thank you, Adrian, for the 25. What a legend. I hope that kind of answers your question, Bull. It sucks. <clears throat> and I don't like to... Um, I often don't like to try and take something on and then wind it back and take something on and wind it back. And I, you know, I've held off making a formal announcement at the moment because I don't like the concept or the potential to um, to let people down. Um, so, you know, I don't like the concept of saying, hey, we did this thing for a bit and now we're going to get rid of it. But I have to... The other thing as well is, right, I, I'm genuinely thoroughly enjoying my hobby at the moment. I'm thoroughly enjoying playing 40k. Age of Sigmar 4 is on the horizon, which I'm very excited about. And I'm like, I could put three hours on a Sunday evening and four hours on a Wednesday, five hours on a Wednesday into playing video games. Or I could put it into my hobby. Um, or I could put it into my other hobby, which is not something that I've monetized. And I'm, and I'm intending at the moment not to monetize it. Whereby yesterday I spent four hours in my garage uh, changing an exhaust on my bike. What about... Which I thought, like, Luce, Luce walked in. She's like, how's it going? I was like, this is a fucking pig. And I had, like, oil all over my hands and sweat and a bit of blood. And she's like, are you enjoying it? I was like, fucking love it. Because I miss engineering. And so I would have otherwise just been sat on the computer, playing video games, getting annoyed at Call of Duty, trying to be entertaining. So, Ionis is a great model, 100%. What were you about to say? You said, but what about? What about doing, like, father-son stuff? So investing some of that time back into like dedicated I'm, I'm into father son stuff and lately he's come to me with things like chess and lego and i'm like i'm all about that that's fine that sounds the, good the thing is though when you look busy then then far less likely to approach you because you already look busy well he's starting to learn thankfully that that's not entirely the case like he came in the other day and he said did you want to play some games and i was sat here looking busy and i was like no and i went wait what kind of games and he went like chess i was like yes i'll make time and i put everything down because i thought he meant video games I was like i'm not interested in playing video games if you if you dedicate some time in the week so i don't know a random monday at two o'clock mondays at two o'clock is we're going to do something together it can be anything let's cook something walk the dog do some chess so when they do approach you and you go i'm actually really busy they can go oh well we have that time that i can i'm going to write something on the whiteboard and we'll do it then on that time. Yeah. If you could do that. Good. Good. Like I said, when he came in the other day, he was like, do you want to play games? I was like, no. I said, wait, what games? He said, uh, he said chess or checkers or something like that. I was like, yes, I'm into it. Let's do it. 
and he, we, I cleared off a part of my desk and we sat there for a while. We played chess. We played, um, we played some checkers. We put a dash cam on, on the screen. It was lovely. Ow, fuck. That metal spin is really fucking causing me dramas right now. What about if you got a magnet? I, I don't think I, I, I got magnets that are strong enough. It's fine. It'll it'll come out at some point in the next couple of days in a hot shower. It'll come out. It's fine. I used to get them all the time, and they used to not bother me. And now, because I've been so long, I have problems. Don't stress your socks on it. It happens, and you got to lean into the things which feed the soul. Thanks, Jill, for the ten. The thing is, I, I, and Lucy will testify to this. I stress about everything because. We're trying to do the best job we can, um, and so that's you know honestly part of I think part of getting rid of Vag and what and it's hard to do because in terms of the video game audience we're not doing the best we can for those but I think part of switching into it is that we're then doing the best we can for you lot rather have it to be honest with you. So yeah, I'm going to keep hold of it for now, just in cases, but I'll probably just delete it to be honest. I'll probably announce it in Discord soon because the other thing I don't want people to be doing is paying for a membership for something that's not coming. That's not my way. Well, I might use it to run um, some games of like Space Marine 2 and stuff when it comes out and just not have it as a monetized thing, but just something that's because I don't want to put Space Marine 2 on, the ch on this channel because I feel like it'd kill the algorithm. You know? Cuticle scissors are perfect for metal splinters. What's a cuticle scissor? Is that like nail clippers like we've got? Are they cuticle scissors? Um, I don't think so. It's such a tiny little thing as well. That's the problem. And it was the fucking first thing I grabbed. I was like, oh, there it is. I did see someone on Facebook using a cow pole syringe to pull it out. Because the syringe creates force to, you know, when you draw up the cow pole from the yeah. bottle. They use an I don't know. This is a out. very small little dot. It's gone in deep. It's in deep. It's fine. I'll be all right. And if we fix the problem, what am I going to whinge about? You'll find something. <laughs> Thanks for the tether, Joe. You're a legend. Love you. Did you read my Did you read my email from WarGameCon 2024? I have seen an email about that. I don't think I've read it yet. I've got a million emails. What's it about, dude? Talk to me, goose. Always have time for Lego. Fucking love Lego. Embrace the suck. <laughs> I don't. It does, man. But also fully legit. Where you are mentally with it, got to try blood bowl. Ah, oh, blood bowl. I, I hundred percent been for trying. I think I used to play. Lucy will tell you. I used to play so much video games. I, used to, I love video games. But I think since this has become more of a career, and I've gone really deep in the hobby world, I feel like video games now. Don't and I'm I, I I do you know what I genuinely get to a point where I hope this is what happens with my kids as well. Video games now don't scratch the same itch that tabletop wargaming scratches. Oh, she just saved on me. No, I'm listening. Oh, okay, good. Right. Uh, yeah, video games don't scratch the same itch as tabletop wargames do now. And I think the biggest thing about that is um, the people aspect. There's something about, like, I think I'd rather even go to the studio, which is my place of work, essentially, and play a tabletop game with someone over log in and play a video game with someone. And I kind of want the kids to get to that same point as well, ideally. Like, maybe not um, tabletop games specifically, but that, that, that physical interaction, that, like, in-person interaction is more valuable to me than anything online will ever be. 
I mean, tabletop robot, not the digital. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, table. That's what I'm saying. Tabletop. Honestly, 100%. That's how you run a meeting. Nine minutes and done. These socks are going to be way too big for me. I think the pattern's not small enough. I am. Um, I don't know if I told you recently this, but I don't need any new socks. No, I think I've got. Uh, I'm in my 50s and still play video games, but the main one being World of Warcraft, but also role play. I've never tried role playing. I don't have the energy to play. How many of you role play? Don Don, who's in Discord, he does role play. And he's so invested in it, which is amazing. But I listen to him talk and I think, I just do not have that kind of energy. <laughs> For me, it's how do you get over the I look like an idiot part? Well, because you all look like idiots, so you're all in it together. That that bit wouldn't actually bother me. It's it's the upkeep of my character, what's going on, <laughs> and then you'd go home and come back next week and you'd have to carry it on. I just don't have that. Hungry that Bert says, sounds like Liam is getting a single new sock. <laughs> <laughs> I role play. How do you get like how do you get over the I feel like an idiot part? Like I mean are we talking about like live action role play though, or just role play? Because live action is something that fascinates me, legitimately fascinates me, not from a ha ah, perspective, but I'm genuinely fascinated by it. I'm like, how do I how do you get over the I feel like I just feel like a fucking twat for the first well, I'd feel like anyway, I guess. I think I'd put it in the same as our friends that do reenactment because you're all doing it. Yeah, I guess. That's a fair point, actually. I never thought of it like that. I feel like I just, I feel like I just think I look like a knob. I've got to build his leg there and I've got to find 11.14. You mean LARP? Yeah. Role play. LARP means going outside like a weirdo. <laughs> That's role playing, though, isn't it? LARPing? It's proper role playing. Did you come with us when um, me and the boys and your auntie went to Berkeley Castle? Yes. And those two guys that did the sword fighting? Yes. And they proper leaned into it. They spoke how they spoke back in that time period. All of their costuming was accurate. The swords were accurate because they were heavy. And I think it's the, the just lean into it because the confidence that came out, in a weird way, it put you at ease that you could say, why are you talking like that? What oh, do I those it, words mean? I thought it was fucking brilliant. Yeah. So maybe that's it, that if you just seriously lean into it because you're all doing it, Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You just embrace the twatness. Yeah. <laughs> I look like an idiot most of the time anyway. Well, so do I, to be fair. I don't know. It's fast. It's always fascinated me. I love reenactment stuff to bring history to life like that. And especially when you find out that some of the costumes, you can't buy them, so you have to make them. Somebody has that skill set. I would bet a lot of them would be in that in that yeah. camp because of where where they're from. They're arguing next door about being slippery enough. It's, it is a concern. You're slippery. No, I'm not. You're slippery. You're too slippery. They are playing a video game, but I'm wondering what video game they need to play where they need to be slippery. <laughs> or they found channels that they shouldn't have found yet at their age. Yeah, that would 
one of the two. This model's going together currently far too fucking easily. Which is a good thing. But also has me concerned. Lures you into a false sense of security when that happens. So what I want you to do, chat, right now. Is hit that little dollar sign, a super chat. Just even for two quid, exactly what your job is. I reckon that'd be interesting. What's that? Oh, well, I'm assuming, with Thursday lunchtime, right? I'm assuming most people are at work or getting ready to go to work because they're in the US. Yeah. So I'd like to know what everyone does for a, li for a living. Okay. Oh, that's it. Just yeah, like I think that. it'd be interesting. Okay. I always have this thing in my mind that a lot of people that play these sorts of games are actually quite intellectual people. Uh, yes, I can second that. Yeah. Being in a room, I think my last headcount was something like three solicitors, five accountants. Ah, I must be in the wrong room. This room has a very high IQ. Just giving you I'll all an excuse. <laughs> giving you all an excuse to put in a big colourful postcard. Go. Amy can read it out to me. Oh, that could be a good one for Friday night before you go after dark. Badly explain what you do for a living. I am the banana peel experimentalist. But also, you wonderful people, we're at 41 new members today as well on the Liam and Nojo show. Oh, wow. What, Bull? Yeah. That must be stressful. I want to be called Bull only because of uh, Band of Brothers. My brother um, worked in a haulage company and he was... I'm probably going to very poorly explain this, so I'm at right at home. He was the guy that... The one guy. I think he was the guy that told all the truckers where they were driving to and their um, tachograms or graphs, tachographs. He was the guy that made sure they were adhering to that. And when, when, you, when you explain it like that, you go, oh, that's a cool job. But he was stressed. people are listening look at that and what's um interesting about that is if you if you don't ask you never quite know the intricate things that are in somebody's job because you could just say oh i'm a dog walker but actually that's a whole bunch of responsibility right there i had one of my favorite ever moments at the only things get together uh, element there's two people playing each other yeah and one of them was the boss the other one was the employee. And they got the job through only things. What? Yeah. So one of them was like made redundant and was looking for a job. Oh. And the other person was like, what did you do for a living? And they started talking to each other. Now one of them works for the other one. Oh, nice. How fucking cool is that? That's warm fuzzies. That's warm fuzzies, isn't it? Yeah. I thought that was super cool. Own a trucking company and drive truck. I love the fact that you own the company and you still drive the trucks as well, though, Bull. That's incredible. Well, own yeah. A trucking company. That's amazing. You say, well, yeah, but I think too many business owners get to a point where they then don't do the thing anymore. Senior claims auditor for Medicare claims. That sounds stressful. Oh, <laughs> you can keep that Jeremy's one. in the US as well, so that, <laughs> that sounds fucking stressful. Amazing. Thanks, Jeremy. Night shift hospital security best say holder though. Which hospital are you? Where are you? New Zealand. Okay. Night shift security for hospitals. Is that a problem in New Zealand? Do you need much security? I shovel shite for a living. <laughs> I mean, you work in IT. <laughs> you lying fuck. 
Thanks, Sean. You're a legend for the tea. Global IT manager. See, there's clever people in it. That's what I'm saying. See, uh, no, I, I fully believe you. This this is a, a hobby. That's what I don't understand. You all have very stressful jobs. Why are you choosing a stressful hobby? <laughs> Project Delivery Manager, working on designing and installing telecoms infrastructure around the country. Schooner, what a legend. No, that's not true. I, it's mad. You're all like... This is why none of them ever fall for any of my grifting lease. Good, I'm glad. She says she's glad. Until we have to move back to Coventry. If we just go on the outskirts, it's fine. This says paint this bit before I glue on the wing. This seems like a bad idea. I feel like I'm just going to build it and paint it. Paint before assembly seems like a bad idea. How many, have any of you done this model before? Retired U.S. Army Ranger, Pathfinder. Served in the 101st Airborne Pathfinder Company with five tours at war. Oh, my Lord. Five tours beats my three tours. All right, Joseph, you win. <laughs> Senior lecturer in maths and analytics. Senior lecturer. See, and he has doctor in his name as well. Oh, well he's probably, that, that means he probably actually is a doctor as well. Fucking clever bastards. Yeah, just build it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Amazing. The reactions are coming in about the AOS cuts. And people are not happy. Are they not? Really? Leave the rider loose. That's what I was thinking. I glued the wing. So I just leave this guy loose on, as he is and build the rest. Because it doesn't look like it'll be that hard to get to. Is it just me? Yeah, I'm just going to build the dragon. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going, chat. You're right, chat. You're right. I'm just going to keep going. Just 23, keep swimming, 24. just keep swimming. Yeah, just keep, just keep swimming. So we get the, get the dragon built. That's a bit everyone cares about anyway. You fucking clever bastards. What are you doing watching me? Is that why you all like Joe so much? It just reminds you what the rest of society is like. Big wing. 24. 27. I need these bits as well. I need, I need a little chair. Little chair he's going to sit on. I found it. I found it, Lucy. Stop panicking. <laughs> I know you were see you're looking stressed over there. On my holiday this week, as the kids are off, usually wouldn't be able to watch during the day. Oh, welcome, dude. I painted the dragon fully glued to the base and just the only separate painting that underneath the dragon was a little fiddly, so you could leave the dragon separate if you wanted. Mm, maybe. You have a lot more experience than me, Amy, so I might take your advice. Maybe. I also like glue and shit. Stick Monkey says, Joe is our Baldrick, complete idiot. <laughs> he actually said more than that, but I feel like we could leave it there and it's fine. I feel like binging Blackadder. I started yesterday binging Game of Thrones again. Because I wanted swords, spears, and dragons. So, Game of Thrones was a logical choice.
I might continue that tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow I need to edit. Tomorrow, I so I thought, chat, I didn't have tomorrow three. I thought tomorrow was a tattoo appointment, but my tattoo appointment actually isn't until next Friday. So tomorrow I fully intend to fully edit the Me and War Hipster podcast, which means for all of you members, it'll be live on uh, Monday for you all to watch three hours of it. You get early access if you're a Skull Tier member or above. If you're a less than Skull Tier member, you'll have to wait till everybody else can watch it on Saturday because it's a five-day early access. If you're not a member, exclamation mark member, and you'll get access to the Me and Hipster talk show early. Or if other people want to gift it, we're on 41 right now, 41 new members. If everyone gifts a membership, we would actually get to nearly 200. Just throwing that out there. I miss Blackadder, by the way. It was a great show. I've only seen a couple of key episodes. Systems engineer and PhD student in machine learning. Yeah, see? Point. You're all too smart. Far too clever for me. I never let them tell me about subassembly build. No, they, they like, um, Whippy, li Whippy Vine Lady from the, the Silver Nest. Like the first, the first bit you cut out, they like paint it. I'm like you are on crack. There is no way. I think when they tell you about subassemblies, it's people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about that tell you about subassemblies. Probably glue the dragon to the rock and then leave the wings separate. It's too late now. I've already started clipping wings out. I mean, we've we've peaked here. We've already cut, started cut the wings up. We're committed. It's a big old fancy chair, isn't it? Once the war hits the podcast, Lee. What are you laughing at? Be our little treat, then, won't it? <laughs> Hard work streamer with you, you know. Why? Well, you continuously encourage them to not spend money. <laughs> That's the wrong way around. Me feeling like a loser because I do pest control. Not what kind of pests? What kind of pests? I bet you've got much better stories than everybody else, though. Meat Squadron, 100%. Not, not a loser at all. Because when the dog throws up on the carpet, guess who everybody comes to? Well, not the pest control person. Not the engineer over there. <laughs> I can't do vomit. Can't do it. Not a loser at all. I want to know about what what pesto. I, like this is the thing. <laughs> is it like raccoons and stuff? Can you take a raccoon home? I get. I reckon if you just like gave it its own little run. I reckon. Could... I reckon you've got the best stories out of everyone in here. And if you do pest control, it'd be amazing. Like bugs and shit, like wasps and beehives, or is it like full infestations of cockroaches and shit? What's is? You're in dollars, so I reckon your pest control situation wherever you are is worse than where we are. Because our pest control is what? Mice, rats, wasp nests. That's about it, isn't it, really? Mm. I didn't think Britain got cockroaches. We don't, do we, really? Yeah, we do. Somebody put it on Facebook. Didn't think we got them, but... It was there. Silverfish. What the fuck is a silverfish? You've never seen a silverfish? What the fuck's a silverfish? If you've got... Don't, don't, no one say a fish that's silver, by the way. <laughs> if you've got rotting wood anywhere in your home, you've probably got a silverfish problem. I've got rotting joe. No, you've got a fish. Like a blobfish. 
Are you expecting anything? Yes, Amazon. You want to be so glad I'm not on a counting row. Fucking hell. Did you knock on the door trying to put it through? Did you not hear that knock? It's aggressive, wasn't it? Is it Amazon? Yeah. That's our drain unblocker. Oh, okay. So we can get rid of all that shower jellyfish. Your shower jellyfish. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting, these. KFC in Bista had a cockroach infestation recently. Zero out of five hygiene rating. Oh, no. Ugh. You know what? When it reopens, I'll probably go back to it. I don't do very well on high fat food anymore. I think I've gotten to that age where your body just goes, say goodbye to the nice food. I am. Um, Not worth it anymore. I don't seem to have a massive problem with it, but I probably shouldn't eat it most of the time. Oh my God. Oh, it's an hour in already, chat. Yeah. Still only, still only 41 members, team. I didn't put a target up today. I decided against it. Good. But still. I'm in Arizona. We have bad bugs, sky, 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 spider, scorpions, etc. I oh God. fucking loved Arizona. Oh, no. Oh, no. I couldn't be pest control and get a phone call. There's a scorpion in my kitchen. No, I'm sorry. You're on your own. No, I'm not going in there. Move I, out. Um... Just move out. Yo, just got out of mind-numbing meeting. What spearhead slash vanguard attachments do you guys have at the studio? We have the old, at least... Uh, Stormcast one. We have this is not these aren't all necessarily built. We have um, the hang on, let me think. We have Sylvaneth, Flash Eater Courts, Night Haunt, um, not Vampire Counts, what are they called? Soulblight Grave Lords, Warriors of Chaos, no Warriors of Chaos, Slaves to Darkness, that's what it's called. Uh, Dinosaur people, Seraphon. I think that's most of the... Oh, um, Empire Man, which isn't Empire Man anymore. Uh, Cities of Sigma. Fucking hell, this is hard. Learning a whole learning a whole new narrative world and a whole new game system is actually... I'm finding it quite difficult. But also monumentally exciting at the same time. Because it's all shit that I don't know. Uh, I got. I bought the. Um, I bought the. Well, Luce bought me the latest Luminous Realm Lords book yesterday, and the guys at GL were like, "Are you sure you want to buy it? Because uh, it's going to be out of date." I was like, "I know it's out of date. I want it for the lore and the painting guides. I don't care about the model. The like, that's why I want it for." Um, and learning it is is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. I love it. Absolutely love it. Why'd you ask, Grumpy Spander? Thank you for the five man. You're a legend. Love you. You're a hero. Exclamation mark. Gift chat. I'll type it. Oh, not in the chat box. I have to move my keyboard so I can actually do the hobbying part. Oh, that's clever. Oh, that's very clever. Oh, that's why, because I want you to paint that strap. Mm, I can see why they might want us to leave the, the wings up here. I love it here. Can't wait for the 115 plus weather. I fucking loved Arizona. The funny thing is, right, we were based I, was based... I was based in Arizona for three months nearly in a place called Davis Monthan Air Force Base in an area called Tucson in Arizona. And uh, personally, honestly, I absolutely loved it genuinely 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 loved it it was i fucking loved arizona and one of the reasons why i loved it so much the best explanation i can give you is that we had some r and r time we had like um i don't know uh, a week five days r and r and we decided to go up to san diego spend some time in san diego and go to sea world and stuff whilst we're r and r so we drove all the way up to san diego which was great like the drive itself was fucking was awesome i loved it like a fucking nine hour drive just to go to the next state 
because uh, San Diego is obviously in California. Um, got to San Diego. And, you know, it's cool. I liked it. But, like, it wasn't very... It was like, oh, you can come... We can go to this Irish bar. I want to go to an Irish bar. I'm in, I'm in fucking America. I'm in, I'm in California. I don't want to go to an Irish bar. I want to go to a fucking Californian bar. Um, or you can go to this English bar. I don't want to go to an English bar. I'm not in England, you fucking idiots. So it, it felt like San Diego for me, maybe it was just where we were. It felt a lot more like tourist kind of orientated as opposed to Tucson, which was like not aimed at tourists at all. It was just a local area. Uh, what was hilarious is once I'd, once I'd come out of there, once once I'd come home, I noticed that everybody took the piss out of Tucson, Arizona for being like like some inbred redneck area or whatever. I loved Tucson. I thought it was fucking incredible. And you had bars with swing doors and you had fucking like, you know, like oh, it was people in Stetsons and cowboy boots. It was great. Uh, and the weather was always glorious. I was like, I want to live here. But then I uh, married a woman who's allergic to the sun. So, Lucy's the only person I know who can get sunburnt on a winty, cloudy day. Yep, I was on the allotment. It was six degrees and I got sunburnt. <laughs> there goes my dreams of living somewhere like Tucson. You could go. I'll stay here. I'll hold the fort back here. If they stopped putting rules in books, they could turn those books into beautiful coffee table books that didn't need replacing every 18 months. If... I mean, you're right, they could. But then what happens, Sean, is people don't need to buy the new ones. And that's a problem for them. I completely agree with what you're saying, right? You, very much can you turn them into beautiful coffee table reading material. Maybe more people might even pick them up and read them. But what happens then is there's no requirement to literally replace them every 18 months, which means you won't sell them every 18 months. That's your problem. But thank you for the five hundred, Sean. You're an absolute hero. And talking of heroes... Do you know who one of our biggest heroes is, Luce? John. <laughs> She's not even looking at the screen. And she knows. John Ricardo. thank you so much for salvaging the stream with 20 of the finest gifted memberships. 20 is mad kind, John. Thank you so much. You're a legend. We love you. That puts us all the way up to 61. Hey, someone put 50p in the Mercado meter. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, John, so much. You're so kind. That's another 20 people that will get to listen to the War Hipster podcast on Saturday when it comes out. Uh, Monday, sorry, when it comes out. Look at that. You're amazing. You're insane. You're a legend. I love you. I'm looking into picking up a new army soon for AOS, and I wanted to know if you guys had picked up the Slaves to Darkness box or the Head Knights box. Head Knights seem interesting, but painting faces spooks me. The Slaves to Darkness box is literally in a box, like, next to me. Because it turned up today with in the same box as this model. It turned up today because Joe is on his to-do list one of the next four boxes he's painting we're trying to get as many vanguard as we can together for when the new age of sigma launches because i'm assuming there's going to be a vanguard mode and i'm hoping they do it better than the old 40 cares we spoke about in the last Liam and joe show i'm hoping we can use it as a way of getting into age of sigma but literally next to me ordered from element on like tuesday Literally right next to me, look, Slaves to Darkness. See? To the box next to me to go into the car for Mr. The Joe. Hobbying twice in one week, what's next? A solar eclipse. Fuck you, Sean. <laughs> I got some button in Tucson, went on a business trip, visited the, vi the biosphere. I loved Tucson. I wish we could sort out your passport, get you the bollocks to get on a plane, and then you'd be okay with going to a hot place. There's three fucking big hurdles there, to be fair. I don't want to go to a hot place. But I think if you saw it and experienced it, you'd be like, you know what? People are climatized. Because they do. I don't want to go to a hot place. But you might like it. I won't. We don't know that. How many times have we had this conversation? You don't know if you like it till you try it. It only gets to a calm 40 to 50 degrees Celsius anyway. I just got my slaves of darkness box. Going to use them in the old world, but anyway. I They've killed old world for me, chat. I'll be honest with you. Absolutely murdered it. 
genuinely quite sad about it. This dragon is too cool, by the way. I work outside when it's 120 and I have to wear long sleeves and pants. Oh, no. No, no. Well, he said, if you get used to it, it was the first thing he said. Get used to it. Have I missed the tail here? I did miss the tail. It's up here somewhere. I missed the tail. Put the tail on. I know I missed something. You get used to the heat. Go to the heat. <laughs> I remember when we came home we landed at Birmingham airport and uh got off the plane and was like Jesus Christ it's like <laughs> it's like July August time in the UK got off the plane and we're putting jumpers on because we got so used to the heat out there that it felt cold coming home so like Adrian when he comes over here I miss Adrian he's shivering Redactivate tea, thanks for the tea. I'm gonna I'm gonna start answering it now because I know she's gonna read it out to me, but it's an easy one to get through. For me, they've killed it because I'm not a person who had um any old world armies. Because I assumed after they nuked old world years ago, nine years ago, we weren't gonna see it again. So I don't have any armies. The armies I want to play are wood elves and high elves, which unless I go to a 3D printer, I have currently no option of how to get hold of any of those models whatsoever. I can't get hold of them. So I basically can't play the game at the moment with the factions that I want. Despite the fact that the hype and the release was around Christmas um, and around that time of the year, I now don't have any way of playing the game with the factions that I want to play. I also have no idea when those factions are really going to come out either. So unless, at the moment at least, you want to play Bretonians or Tomb Kings, you can't really play Oddworld. And even if you do want to play Bretonians and Tomb Kings, stock's a massive issue for them right now, so it's hard to get hold of those models. Now, a lot of you are going to say yes, and I agree. You can get 3D printed and, and third-party bits I don't want 3D printed in third party bits. What they've done is they've supported the system with an ancient model range and still not kept up with demand. And so I've lost interest. I don't want to play anymore. So for me, they've killed it. It's a personal opinion, not a factual opinion. For me, they've killed, they've killed the hype of Old World by a monumentally slow release schedule. How did they kill Old World? Now, if you take Horus Heresy, for example, when, when they released Horus Heresy version 2, granted all the plastic stuff wasn't out at that point, but you were still able to buy all the old Heresy stuff. So you could still play the game. The game was still available to you. Even if they didn't have all the new stuff out yet, the game was still available to you. That's not been the case this time around with Old World. So, there you go. That's why I think they're killing it. Their, their release schedule has taken far too long. Just even to get out the old models that they used to sell years ago, it's taking too long. It's a bad job. Q, everyone disagree with me. <laughs> Joe's in a similar boat as well, actually. Joe was, you know, I, I say it's just my opinion, but I've had a conversation with Joe about this. He was hyped and excited for Old World, and he's lost all interest in it now because of how long it's taken him to get anything out. So... Again, I'm aware echo chamber, so you know. It might just be that Joe and I are working each other up. It might also be that Joe's agreeing with me so I don't beat him. Could be either of those things. Boop.
Oh, I'm going to do a Joe on you now, actually. I'm going to go quickly to the bathroom. I wouldn't expect Lucy to talk to you because she thinks she's counting. Mm -hmm. She's deep in thought, chat. You have, a, you have a two minutes to wait before I come back. And we'll come back and it'll be at 100 members. Watch this. Ache everywhere. I didn't do it, Luce. It stayed at eight, it stayed at sixty one. Good. Proud of you, chat. No, Proud no. You. Stop it. <laughs> I will start banning you from stream. Oh no. You like being on stream, don't pretend you don't. You said it too often for you to suddenly go back on it now. I do like it. One hundred percent agree GW are the masters of their own downfall. I'm excited for you to do EOS. How many reports you planning a day? Uh currently probably one a week to be honest with you. It kind of depends. Um so at the moment the way I'm looking at it is that we'll probably do uh pre recorded AOS. But I don't know. Like I feel like AOS actually would lend itself to being quite a good fun stream game because it's quite like chill, I think, comparatively. Um, but I don't know when I get another stream night in. So we either can go to like uh, swapping the 40k stream to an AI stream, adding a 40k pre-recorded so we keep the same level of 40k content out because that's, that's a promise that we've made. Or we uh, keep the two 40k streams and switch to an AOS pre-recorded game or I don't know. It's hard at the moment to definitely know, but I would like to add another game to the channel, whether it be pre-recorded 40k, pre-recorded AOS. Um, and then depending on, the, on which one we go for, which way we do the streams. Um, and it kind of depends also on its success as well, Redacted. So thanks for the five, by the way, man. It kind of depends on its success as well, to be fair. Because if its success is quite high um, and people are, and it's very popular and it's doing really well, as a business, we have to make a decision. Um, also, it depends on how much we're enjoying it, obviously, as well. Um, I've said this a million times already. Like, I'm aware of how excited I got about 10th edition with Jit Games Workshop's hype train that was Warcom and then how much that then subsequently let me down. Um... So I don't want to be like, it's gonna, it's gonna look like it's gonna be the best game ever. I need to look like a fucking mug when it's released and it's really dull. Uh, so I am approaching this with caution um, because as you said, right? GW's are the master of their own downfall. 100% agree with you. That's what part of the reason why I'm approaching this with caution. Now, if I look at AOS 3, if it's anything like AOS 3, I think I'm gonna really enjoy the game legitimately. And what they've showcased so far, if that's how it works, if it's not the simplified but simple bullshit corporate fucking promotional speak again and they're actually doing what they're saying they're doing, then currently I'm very positive about what they've showcased for the new version of Age of Sigma, which means, in turn, we probably could really, really enjoy ourselves, which means if, again, the content does well and we're really enjoying ourselves, we might have to revisit our content strategy um, once, once the new Age of Sigma launches. So currently the plan is one game. However, we will see what happens once it's out how much we love and enjoy it, how we feel about 40k, how much we want to lean into just adding extra content. Um, there is a potential that we could add in, we could swap one of our talking head stream nights into a game stream night. Uh, however, for that to work, the channel needs to be in a better place, both uh, financially and, and staff members. And obviously staff members is directly linked to financially. So if we have more staff, it also gives us an opportunity to put out more content in the future. 
But to be honest with you and be being straight up, we're a way off that. So that's not like that's not me saying gift 20 memberships now and we'll get another member of staff. We're a way off that. That's not happening anytime soon. Um But that's kind of the intent, you know. We want I I want to get to my my I have an end goal for the channel. And my end goal for the channel, I don't have a time frame for. So this is not me going, by the end of the year, I want to be here. This is me saying, this is what I'd like to do. And what, what my end goal for the channel would be in an ideal world is to have a live stream five to seven times a week, so arguably one a day, and a pre-recorded content piece released once a day. That's my content, that's my content like end goal right now. 14 pieces of content, one pre-recorded, one live stream every day, mixed between all of the gaming systems to include, but not limited to, Age of Sigma, Old World, Horus Heresy, 40k, Kill Team, Warcry, all of the games, games workshop systems, with the potential also, poten to, like potentially, to look at covering in small ways other systems as well uh, from other companies. So Song of Ice, Song of Ice and Fire, um, stuff like that, you know. But that's like large, larger level stuff. To do that, I'd need a team of, say, minimum two to three more people i reckon in total uh, and then we're talking table or tactics levels of teams where you can watch a battle report with beard playing uh chef that katie's produced and, and lawrence isn't even involved and one of the reasons why they can pump out content is because lawrence isn't even involved so they can do that right and that's where i'd like to be um but he's been doing it for a long time he's put a lot of time effort and money into it and that's why he's where he is and we're kind of early on in that journey, really, because although we've had the channel, we celebrated the channel's seventh birthday um, last last week. Although we've had the channel for seven years, in terms of taking the streaming life quite seriously and taking the channel very seriously, probably like two and a half years. So in terms of that, I feel like we're quite early on into the journey because before that, we, we were just dicking around. We were just dicking around. That's all we were doing. We were, we, like YouTube was there because I wanted to make YouTube videos, but I was just doing it for fun rather than taking it as a serious business. I have no interest in learning AOS, but would likely enjoy AOS streams more than 40k. Interesting. How come, Escape? Escape. I hope that all makes sense, team. Branders and tactics, you promote live, live content. Yeah, we know. I much prefer doing live content. But there's only so much live content you can do in a week. There's obviously, like, that's, that's where I'd like to be as a content plan. And the reason for that is both because I, put, I prefer doing and performing live, but YouTube rewards pre recorded more. So in terms of channel growth, uh, pre recorded is better for us. Much, much better for us. In terms of channel growth and that's just because of how youtube works so some of what i have some of what i do i do it because i want to do it and some of what i do i do it because it's the best thing for the channel so if we have to stick out more pre-recorded content to sacrifice to, to satisfy the youtube algorithm gods so be it If the YouTube algorithm gods start praising us anyway, the channel starts monumentally growing based just on live and revenues up and all that kind of stuff, then there's a possibility we just don't worry about the pre-recorded stuff at all. There is that possibility, genuinely. You say you're having more fun playing 40k than ever before, but is that simply down to who you have around you? Nothing has all to do with 40k rules. 100%. 100% without doubt. It's not just the people around me either. Um, it's a combination of the people around me and our attitudes towards 40k. We're not trying to score 100 points. We're not trying to make the most optimized list and take the most broken units. We're just trying to go and have fun, which is partly because of the people I have around me that have agreed to do that. So yes, 100% SQP, absolutely. Without doubt. If you look on YouTube, you know there is no one doing AOS as good as you do 40k, so there is defo a gap. Do things you love else you will burn out. Kind words to say, mate. Thank you. I assume what you're saying is that what we do with 40k is good. So an assumption I'm making there, which is an egotistical assumption, but an assumption nonetheless. And if that's the case, thank you very much. 
I've got to start again. Why? Because while I was while I was knitting the first bit, so like the toe socket part, I was thinking, how how am I meant to do like an invisible seam on this? It, it can't. I don't understand it. And that's because further into the pattern, because there's American abbreviations that I've never come across. So I keep having to read it and then go back, then read it, go back. She does this like yarn wrap around and turn and then knit and you slip a stitch. And as I was reading it, I was going, oh shit, I need <laughs> these two socks made in tandem for that technique uh, to work. But it's okay. It's all learning. Yeah. Part of the, like the skill development is you have to go wrong because you learn more when you go wrong you always learn more when you go wrong 100 percent. before you came out if i win the lottery i'll move to your area and work for the channel for free you you and zena already do enough for the channel mr the medic we have got five minutes of what's supposed to be the stream left although i'm gonna probably can at least build this piece here um and we're on 61 members chat between the 147 of you remaining considering we didn't hit the target last night could we hit 100 in a stream without Joe? Is it possible? How generous are you all feeling? <sighs> Just need eight of you gifting five, or four of you gifting 10, or two of you gifting 20. This little fucking dragon, any cool? Any fucking cool? Anyway, yeah, I hope that answers all the questions. Reductive. Thanks for the five, anyway, dude. Thanks for the three super chats. You're a hero. What a legend! What a legend! This guy's pretty cool. I think I might, I might leave the wings off. Instead of chatting, I should have gifted. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It all goes in the bank. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. You're a legend. Oh, Mr. The Medic, what a legend. He comes in there and drops a 10. Fucking hero. Thank you so much, dude. Hope you and Zen are doing very well. Why like that? Is that strap that's going to be the pain to pain? Isn't it? 10 gifted, 40k medic. Thank you so much, dude. What a legend. 71 now is our new total. Because of dragons. Well, you kind of had to, right? Because we're making dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for five gifted. Nos I can't. Don't make me say it again. Let's go. Nostro dromedary. Thank you so much for five gifted. <laughs> That's teamwork. That, Nostro dromedary. This is why I need you here. I can't say it. I have to go. You've got to take a running start at it. So you just, just Nostro take a dromedary. No, 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 I can't. I can't do Nostradomadary. it. Nostro dromedary. Nostro drom. Four K medic. Thank you for the ten. <laughs> That's one of those that you need a running start for. <laughs> That's on eighty-one. I think we beat last night. Now putting the night shift to shame. You lot. Who's also on the paint scheme for the storm class? Yes. Boop. Already been work hard at work on it, Crumpets Panda. We've already been painting. Nostro Bromo Dairy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's going to be from now on. <laughs> Nostro Brom loves dairy. I'm sorry, I shouldn't. It's, like, if you're if you're generous enough to gift memberships, Elect Man, have you not turned on gifted yet? You're in all the streams now. I need to figure out we're going to be doing AOS. You get yourself gifted memberships turned on. Come and join the greatest hobby community in the world. In the world. I feel like I should say it like Clarkson. In the world. 
Gary Clark's in it. Yeah. That's how he's saying it. Yeah, that's how I heard it. Oh, you're off. She's gone. She had enough for you, chat. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Liam painting. Is it icy outside? I know, Ben. No. Lucy, I need you. Apparently, Ben, all I needed to do was find some things that I really, 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 really enjoyed painting. And then uh, and some models that I really loved, and I just got on with it. Thirsty Conjure, thank you so much for five gifted. What a legend. 86 chat. 14 to go. Just 14 to go. I need you. Nostradamadurary. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I've lost it now. Hang on. Let me have another go. Nostrodromadary. Thank you so much for the 10. <laughs> See, this is why you have to be around. I, please, please, please. This, I, it's a lot to ask this, considering you've gifted 10 members and now super chatted 10 bucks as well. But can you, next time it's an actual Liam and Joe show, can you just at least gift just five, five bucks or one member or whatever? I want to hear Joe read it out. Hearing Liam butcher the name is worth every cent. Thank you so Smiley much, face. Please, can you do, like, if it's not too much to ask, can you please maybe do it when Joe's here? Because I have to hear him try and read out your name. I've got that bad boy to build myself. I'm currently finishing my Sylvaneth and doing Stormcast for four. This guy, this, this has actually been a very, very, uh, straight up, a very, very nice model to put together. So far, no dramas. At all. Nostro Dromedary, thank you so much. <gasps> Did it. Thank you so much for the 10 as well, and thank you for the 10 <laughs> gifted, you're a legend. At this point, I am prepared to send you five Australian dollars back just so you can gift one membership when Joe's on stream. Because I have to hear him say your name. It would be hilarious. A uh, new little Horace Axeman model just been shown off. Yeah, but no one cares about Horace Cersei apart from John McArdle. Look, right, Matty. I'm going to be honest. I have to pretend to like Horace Cersei because John. That's a lie, actually. I want to play it in the future. I really want to play Horace Cersei. I just don't really care about Space Marines. Oh, you need to say it in an Australian accent from Australia. The horsey heresy. Heresy. No, no Nostra Dromedary. You should tell Joe. Joe, not only is it your turn to read this one out, but you need an Australian accent so we can truly appreciate. Have you heard him try and do accents, by the way? <laughs> it's incredible. He tried to do like a Southern American one for a while and it was it was it was gold. I'm, I was mildly concerned we were going to get cancelled. Why? Because he, he just... He went full stereotype with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see you, John. I knew you'd be there. When she reads it out, will she just say ellipsis? I don't know. John, what Age of Sigma army are you doing? I will convince you. I will convert you. I will convert you. I very much want to play... Um, or horsey heresy.
dot. Now. Oh, she just read the one dot, actually. <laughs> she didn't read any more than one dot. That's very nice Thank you so much for the 10, John. You're a legend. Uh, we still need to know what age sigma arm you're going to collect, though. I will convert you. The plus to say that August Kit has got me into Harris Harris with a bit of legioning on the side. I think I think I, that's the route I might go down, actually, is the, is the um, Solar Auxilia Kit. If I'm honest with you. I thought about Mechanicum for a while because of things like Thanatars. <sighs> this is where I go, right? Because I go down the river and go, oh, I like the Solar Auxilia, I like the Mechanicum, and I'm like, so I don't actually give a shit about Space Marines. But then I've been thoroughly enjoying Dark Angels lately in 40k, so I feel like I just do Dark Angels for Heresy. Or the other option is Space Wolves in Heresy are a lot less uh, werewolfy, so they're, they're a strong possibility as well, because I don't like the werewolfy vibe of um, of 40k Space Wolves. So maybe that's how I could scratch my edge. And off, uh, the Lehman Rust Primark model is glorious as well, so... Who am I ignoring? Who am I ignoring? Who am I ignoring? The books look like plastic Mechanicum incoming. Oh, those Thanatars. Mechanicum in Heresy is what Mechanicum in 40k should have been. If you disagree, fight me. I did, I did. I originally did want to do Sons of Horus. That's the. That was the the main legion I was going to go for, only because of um, when they released the, the the Horus, the more recent Horus model, the Horus um, not undivided. What was he fucking called? Transfigured or whatever the fuck it was. John's ignoring me. Oh, he is. Is he? We'll see, chat. What do we want for dinner? I thought you were doing spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. No? Let's hold that now? No. What about enchiladas? Yeah. I don't mind. I can't decide what legion to collect, so I'm thinking a Black Shields army or Alpha Legion. Both means I can paint every legion. That sounds cool. The lack of uniformity would probably annoy me, though. I think I think when I go for it, I'm going to do Sons of Horus. Just because I want to, I want to paint Horus Ascended. I've got him in a box in the studio, and I want to do Horus Ascended. If I can get to a point where I can get a quick Sons of Horus scheme down with the airbrush, now I have access to my airbrush all the time, I reckon I'll do Sons of Horus. And then I'll get Joe to paint a heresy army of some sort, and we'll do a battle report, and the title of it will be dedicated to John McArdle. That'll be it. Loving the afternoon stream. Great for retired people like me. Retired? Were you actually a zoologist as well? I'm, I'm keen to know. Were you actually a zoologist, a zoologist for a living? What <laughs> wouldn't it let you see the chat? Were you, were you writing rude words, John? Are you trying to be rude to me?
I'd love to bring a, a heresy game to the channel sooner rather than later. We've just got too much on. We can't build and paint quick enough to keep up with 40k, let alone Age of Sigmar, as well as Old World, as well as Horus Heresy. Very difficult right now. We'll get there. Though. Eventually, we'll get there. It's just time. Mainly primates for 34 years, retired at 55. That's amazing. A primate based zoologist is cool as shit. You'd have been right at home in Lucy's hometown. <laughs> Great Mafia, thank you for the gifted. Yes. 87. 13 to go. Thirteen to go, Jack. Come on. Can't believe it's been two years since Dempsey Con. I know, Cass. Hoping to have a very special version of that at the end of this year. It wouldn't let me super chat what I put in chat, so here's $10. Thank you so much, John. You're a fucking legend, I love you. We all love John. Thank you so much, you're a hero. Great Mafia, thank you for the one gifted as well. You're a legend. What an absolute hero. That's 87 gifted memberships. And with Whitey jumping in there, Miss of the Whitey 55 with 10 more. Honestly, people, that's 97. Three to go. You're a fucking legend. Thank you so much. Playing that recovery game from last night. And we lose. The what? The recovery game. What's the recovery game? It's recovering from last night's disastrous stream. It was a bit. No. I mean, it was. Mm -mm. As the man who sets the targets, it was. That's what happens every now and again. Thank you so much. Why are you 55? Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. You're, you're an absolute legend. Hey Liam, am I going crazy or has the 10th Ed Orc Codex not actually been released yet? I don't think it has, no, is it? I'm pretty sure we haven't had... I think, I'm pretty sure we're just on the index right now. I think I'm going to do enchiladas. Yeah? Yeah. I think... I think doing that means Ben gets more variety for dinner and he's more likely to eat it. <sighs> the tiny turd. Loose. <laughs> Thank you to Nostro Dromedary for the for, one for gifted. The, oh, you, you did the whole thing. Look for at the you. Whole thing, yeah. She's after a promotion chat. I'll give him all of my time because I'm the only one saying his name. Thank you so much, Nostro Dromedary, for the one gifted. You're a legend. You're an absolute hero. You're amazing. I love you. And thank you, Joe Cole's Only Feet, for five more. Oh my God, this is fucking emotional. I can see, Amy, why you might want to glue this now. What the fuck? Like that. Do I glue that on or do I? Sorry, Whitey. You're going to have to make them. Unless somewhere's open at one in the morning. Joe Calls, thank you for the five. Joe Calls only for you. Joe messaged me yesterday. <laughs> he said, who's Joe Calls only feet? You, Joe. And I was like, I don't know, Joe. Why? He went, it's just a bit weird. <laughs> I was like, 
<laughs> yes, I know. I have no idea who it is. Thank you so much for the five gifted. Putting us over the 100 mark. You fucking legends. Thank you so much. All bringing in the numbers for this. What a bunch of heroes. We also have another strike. Like, refresh that bank account. Get yourselves on the streets. Earn some money now. Because at 7.30, we'll go live again with another one. Uh, we have basically built the dragon, right? So you can see him on his little rock here. Okay. If I tilt. Like that. There he is on his little rock. It, what a fucking gorgeous looking model he is. That bit comes out. And we do have also his wings. This one goes on here like that. Like that, right? Yeah, like that. And up there like that, right? But if we glue that wing on, we can't get access to this panel and this bit up here. And this one, right, goes up here like that, right? And again, if we glue that wing on, we don't get access to the little belt here. So, you know... I think we are, I think or actually this one he's such a nice model I'm torn as to whether I glue it all together or whether I and and then whether this one I actually try and paint in pieces what are we saying chat what are we saying I think I'm gonna have to glue him to the thingy because this is looks like it's gonna be too much of a pain in the ass to do after the fact Oh my god. John did a purple one. John did a purple one. He's getting excited. I can't wait to hear her read that one out. John, so thank you so much for 50 bucks. Oh god, this is a fucking pain. I feel like I might paint the dragon on the rock and then paint yeah I'm going to glue the dragon to the rock and then leave the wings off is what I reckon yeah that's what we're going to do we've decided I have spoken The concept of doing this upper pain is too scary. Heresy. Heresy rules. Horus heresy. Yeah, heresy. Heresy. Heresy is the best. Heresy, yes. Heresy, yay. More heresy. Heresy all day. Heresy is best. Horus heresy is for closers. Her <laughs> she got oh. bored! She got bored! <laughs> She's a busy woman, that ain't. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't have time to be saying heresy. Heresy is for closers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, thank you for the big 50. You're a legend. Right, we've glued this bit on here now. And I know you're all going to go, no, you should have done that. But trying to get that to line up after I painted it with glue would have been a nightmare. A nightmare. And actually, I'm pretty confident I can get to all the bits I need to get to. Whilst it's glued. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, I can get to all that stuff. That's good. Okay, we're good. We can get to everything we need to get to whilst it's like this. And then we'll spray the wings separately. The, the wings I am going to keep off. Because they actually have very solid contact points. So they're easy to glue on. What a ripoff. I want a refund. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. Uh, but they hide too much detail, so we're going to leave the wings off. Yeah, I'm going to into the base now. Good. Good. I'm happy with my life choices here, chat. Didn't make me a question, though. Something out there is beeping loudly. Oh, I'm going to keep um, uh, Ionus and the wings off. Elect man, don't you worry. So that's going to be the end of the dragon build. And then we're going to build Ionus later. And then we'll keep those four parts separate and we'll get them sprayed. There we go. Right. That's what we're going to do. Wings, dragon man, and then man.
Oh no. I can't argue with that point, unfortunately. There's kittens on Thane's group, is there? Ugh. Who likes cats? No one likes cats. Right. We have our built dragon on base. What a fucking gorgeous model this is. We have our wings. We'll build our units later. But we're already 20 minutes over schedule now. And I've got stuff I need to do, unfortunately. So. Oh, the holy baby Drago Mikado is broken. <laughs> He's not wrong, unfortunately, with this next thing that's about to come through. Um, at least with Heresy, they legends it before they release all the rules. They didn't release all the rules and then legends it. At least. Shut up, Liv. Don't make me put you in timeout, Mr. Weeman. At least, at least in at least in AOS, they went, "Hey, just to let you know, this shit's changing." Right? At least they let us know. My poor sacrosanct army. Yeah. Well, they have legends rules. Right tonight. You know what systems doesn't legends anything ever at all? That's right. It's Horus effing heresy. Eat it, Aos. Are you so? Are you what is what you're saying, Jones? You're not going to join us for Age of Sigma. Makes me sad. Makes me sad. Thank you for 50 more bucks, though. You're an absolute legend. I love you. You're amazing. It's 100 bucks from John and 20 gifted. What a hero. You're all amazing people, actually. You're all incredible. We're going to take a little break now. I've got some errands to run and some things to do and some dinner to have. We're back at 7 30 with another 40k talk show, which is what you lot voted for yesterday. Okay. Uh, we'll do another hour and a half two hours talk show tonight we'll chat bollocks and you can all abuse me for the evening i will welcome it but thank you so much for everybody who's joined us today thank you for 103 gifted memberships you're all amazing i love you dearly thank you for all the super chats as well it's incredible it's amazing the support we get on a regular basis even without mr the joe here thank you so 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 much you incredible incredible human beings uh, we have another show at 7.30 tonight. Like I said, it's not a game, unfortunately, simply because no one's available. Literally no one's available apart from me. So I'm going to be sat here and doing another talk. Are you joining us this evening? Um, maybe. Luce might be joining us this evening. She's not impressed by your behaviour lately, basically, chat, is what she's saying. And then tomorrow night at 8.30, we have 40k after dark. Okay, so we've got two more shows before we get to the end of the week. Then it's the weekend. And then next week, I'm very excited because Peachy's coming. So I'll be like a kid. Constantly. I have three OS armies, fish elves, sigmarines, and orc riding boars. Can't bother for what their actual army names are. They are all silly. <laughs> At least you're playing with us, John. At least you're playing with us. You're hobbying later as well. No, the guys have voted for a talk show tonight rather than a hobby show, we man. So we're going to do a talk show. And actually, what, we could, what we're probably going to do is we'll probably talk about this Legends article, if I'm honest with you. Anyway, you're all amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I love you dearly. I hope to see you this evening in a little under. Well, 7.30 in a little over four hours. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>